I am going to read you the scenario so that you guys have an idea of what happened. And then we need to go sketch out our crime scene and take notes. Go on in, spread yourselves out around the outside, start sketching. So like, we're doing this crime scene investigation where this guy, he, he was murdered and there are four, four of his friends are suspects. So we think he has been poisoned, that's like the main lead, but every, I'm pretty sure everybody has like their own suspicions and ideas of what happened. So this class is a fifth and sixth grade course where we are doing forensic investigations. So throughout the course of the year, they've gone to the St. Joseph Police Department to talk to some of the crime scene experts. We've had St. Joe PD that comes out and does fingerprinting with them. We've done shoe print lifts, impressions. Um, we've done some DNA testing, chromatography, all the different aspects of actual crime scene investigation. And so students in this activity are being able to put all those things together and actually investigate a whole crime scene instead of just like a mini crime that we've been learning all the different pieces. So once they have a chance to kind of gather, collect their data, they get to um, actually try somebody through the case and actually get a chance to say why they think they did it. What I do every year with this activity is I actually take our current gate students and use their DNA, fingerprints, hair samples, those things to make it as real world as possible for the kids. So I plant the evidence from each individual kid so they get to kind of figure out who in their class is um, the guilty or a suspect or they find information that changes it on a dime. We think someone got poisoned, but we don't know yet because there's these all these cups and no one was with him when he actually did uh, die. Uh, there was this weird jar in a trash can and it didn't have a label on it. There was also like an ice cube tray that had like four melted ice cubes left and they could have put that in the, like their drink to make it poison. They are going to have to do a lot more of this independently than they have previously. So it'll be fun to kind of watch them process through, but they are gonna use a lot of those techniques they learned previously on the evidence from this actual case. Oh yeah, we've been learning like different like methods of investigation, like fingerprint lifting, footprints. It's fun, but also challenging. So we always try to do our best. This activity is awesome for them because they do get a chance to be hands-on with it and have a lot of critical thinking and problem-solving skills. It allows them to do more of those 21st century thinking skills than just sitting and doing paper and pencil, where they have to piece together all these different elements. Things can be seen from different perspectives. It makes it a lot of fun for them. They want to come to class to be able to see what the next piece of information is.